lysosomes, another organelle found in the cytosol. Other structures that you can see, if you look carefully, there's two spindly-like structures in the cytoplasm. And these are referred to as centrosomes. Centrosomes, small, spindly looking structures in the cytoplasm. Another structure you may see, usually near the surface of the cell, is um, a network of tubing. Very similar in appearance, in fact, to the endoplasmic reticulum. And very often you see bits of this tubing uh, breaking off to form vesicles which travel to the surface of the cell membrane. This whole complex of uh, structures here is referred to as the Golgi apparatus. The Golgi or the Golgi apparatus. So what we actually have a list of now is uh, cell organelles. So all these organelles, as we're about to see, have very specific functions in the cell. So this is a whole other level of organization. Just the same as the body is made up of organs, then the cell is made up of not organs, but organ organelles. Organelles. So vital to the function of the cell are these organelles. So far from being simple structures, Cells are staggeringly complicated. Many organelles working together, all controlled to give rise to the amazing complexity that is a unit of life. That is the cell. And what we're going to do now is look at the functions of these individual organelles. the function of the organelles. Now what we're going to do in this section is I'm going to give you the function of the organelles fairly briefly, then we're going to look at, look at the functions in a little more detail on the printed notes. So functions of organelles. Now what I haven't mentioned <coughs> um, so far is that there are organelles inside the nucleus. And these are the chromosomes that we've already referred to. So the chromosomes are already in the nucleus. And chromosomes are made up of two structures. The first is they're made up of a protein. But the important function is that the chromosomes contain the genes. And a gene is a unit of genetic information. Now there is a separate video on genetics, so we're not going to do this in great detail on this video. The chromosomes found in the nucleus of the cell contain the genes. 
And the genes are important because the genes contain the instructions to make the cell. You need to make the cell to make the tissues. You need to make the tissues to make the organs. You need the organs to have the body. So in a, in a very true sense, genes are carrying the genetic information required to make the individual. But primarily, they're carrying information to make a cell. So chromosomes containing genes. And here we've got a picture of some chromosomes. H how they appear depends on the stage of cell division, actually. But here we have an assortment of chromosomes photographed in the nucleus of a white blood cell. And actually, these chromosomes are all in pairs, so if you were to cut these out, you get this sort of diagram here. Each of the chromosome is in a pair referred to as a homologous pair. But for more detail on that, refer to the video on genetics. Now what I'm going to do now is look back at the diagram we've just completed on the uh, anatomy of the cell. And I'm just going to explain very briefly what each of the organelles do before we look at them in more detail. Now, <clears throat> the cell membrane first of all. Now the cell membrane regulates passage of substances into and out of the cell. Controls flow of substances into and out of the cell. The nuclear membrane does the same thing but for the nucleus. So the nuclear membrane regulates passage of substances into and out of the nucleus from the cytosol. The mitochondria are responsible for the generation of energy, energy production. And they're sometimes referred to as the powerhouse of the cell. So the site of energy production in the mitochondria. Energy is not produced anywhere else other than in the mitochondria. The powerhouse of the cell. The cytosol is a supporting medium for the organelle <clears throat> and the amount of water that the cytosol contains is very important in determining the overall shape of the cell. You need the right amount of pressure inside the cell so that the cell adopts its natural physiological shape. The extensive nature of the endoplasmic reticulum means that substances can be transported round about the cell. So substances, we assume, are transported in the mitochondria from one part of the cell, sorry, in the endoplasmic reticulum from one part of the cell to another. So the endoplasmic reticulum, internal transport or internal translocation of material round about the cell. The lysosomes contain a digestive enzyme called lysozyme. And lysozyme is used to destroy unwanted cells and to destroy foreign materials such as bacteria. So lysozyme used to, a digestive enzyme used to digest unwanted self material or unwanted non-self or foreign material. The centrosomes 
are involved in cell division.